will be more accessible. And yeah, I, it, definitely when you play it, I mean, it's it's going to be a hardcore Bethesda RPG at the end of the day. I think. Um, I mean, I saw nothing there to suggest that it's uh, you know, going to be uh, you know memorizing patterns and you know hitting buttons in a certain way. I mean, I think it's it's going to be stats and you know all those things driving that. But that's you know all these RPG guys. I think. It, they're trying to make it more accessible, yet still please the hardcore. And I don't think you know That's everyone a doesn't balance to, to walk. It is, yeah. It's and no one's really you know they, like you could look at Mass Effect too. I mean, some people said, oh well, that went too action oriented, and then it's like, well, what are they going to do with three? And I, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I, I, I feel supremely confident that you know Todd and those guys are going to deliver a good game for those core Elder Scrolls fans. Like the question is, how much wider will the appeal be, especially in November when everything else is coming out? Mm-hmm. So it's like you've got Uncharted, you probably got you know Call of Duty somewhere around there. I mean, there's a lot of big stuff. So yeah. Gears, you know, Gears. Yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of big games. So in the November time frame, uh, you know, how much wider can a game like that go beyond the core? Because it's you know it's also going to be a, a huge game. Yeah. Now they brought us to this event, but didn't let us have any footage. Brooks, you've had to actually write a blog yeah. about the game because we have no way to cover it. When have, have they said when we'll get a, another look at this game? I know people are, are freaking out wanting to see it. So. Well, when they showed it uh, to us during that presentation, they said only six people outside of the development team have seen it at that point. So that was really cool, special like first look for us. Mm-hmm. I hope they show it more often because what we saw, I mean, really, everybody had a really good... They're going to have to unload at E3. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Please yeah, do. coming November, I mean, you know, E3, no shame, believe it or not, it. is, I don't know, what is this, like five, six weeks away now. So I think, uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a huge presence at E3 for it. Um, but Bethesda's always pretty deliberate in not putting out a ton of footage of their games in advance. Remember even Fallout 3, like, they were pretty careful about what they put out. Mm-hmm. So um, I think we'll, we'll definitely see more at E3, but I, I doubt we'll see anything before then, but who knows. You participate in the most important Mortal Kombat in history. This tournament, the 10th after 9 Outworld victories, will determine Earthrealm's fate. Alright, next up, I would say probably the biggest surprise so far this year, as far as the quality of the game versus my expectations, that game is Mortal Kombat. You think so? Yeah. You gave it a 9.4. When the demo came really out, though. Yeah, yeah when, but the I mean, demo was really Kombat. good. Mortal Kombat and 9.4 have never been mentioned in the same sentence together. There's, sure I think enough. there's something special about that MK game. Like, it's, it's interesting because the DC one, you know, a couple of years ago, I think people were, like, really hyped on that. Yeah. And their views, I think, were, you know, okay for yeah. it, solid. But yeah, this one, for whatever reason, it's like it really fe- – and I haven't played enough of so I'm curious to hear from you guys, like – how does it sort of cross over from that, you know, very good to, like, excellent level? I mean, is it just, like, it's it's so well-refined? 